Praise the Lord, everybody. Dr. Thomas Matthew the Fourth. I'm speaking on a really amazing topic that seems to be so needed in our day. And I have a couple of announcements to make. We're going to be doing an amazing, an amazing, amazing prophetic broadcast coming up. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to give any more details about it, but it's going to be coming up. It's going to be really, 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 very, 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 very special. And something uh, we haven't done in that particular format before. It's going to be absolutely off the chain great. Okay? Um, also, we have some other events coming up. We'll make, be making some more announcements about that, about those, and putting out the flyers. But internationally, online, uh, I'm very excited about this. I'm excited about the local events, live and in person, because those are just have their own uniqueness and greatness. But um, there's going to be also a uh, uh, phenomenal things being done online, and I'm, and I'm really thrilled about that. So welcome everybody on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we want to go on other platforms also. But that's coming up in the, in the days to come. And all kinds of satellite television. I have a book that's going to be coming out in the next few days in an expanded edition entitled The Laws of Success. Some of you may, many, many, uh, hundreds and hundreds of people have already gotten this book. Hundreds, pro probably close to a th over a thousand. I've gotten this book, um, Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. This is available. They'll also uh, uh, be available online as ebooks. This one's already in print. This is it. With the uh, Archbishop uh, wrote the uh, forward, three pages about me and the anointing we carry and the prophetic grace and the importance of the prophet, the importance of the prophetic ministry. You need to get this book just to see what he wrote. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's fabulous. So uh, this is available also as, as an e-book. And another one that I have here, I found, I had it, where did I put it? Oh. See, these are all, oh, here it is. The Benefits of Excellence. Uh, also, this is good the way it is. I don't think we need to uh, redo this. I'm going to put it out just the way it is. This is available in e-book. And also, it's, we, we're sold out, so we're going to go into more printings of this uh, in, in the coming days. So get ready for that. Another exciting thing is all these, this is a thick, thick, uh, like almost like a book in itself. And this is nothing, this is nothing, this is a small part of it. Uh, prophecies I've delivered over a particular nation, um, and many of you know me for this, the nation of Kenya. We're going to be re-releasing in a, in a book form. Okay, now, what's next? That's something else. Yes, the reprint of 66 Prophecies for Kenya uh, in an expanded edition is also coming out in the next few days. I read through these 66 Prophecies. This was done live in a private meeting that I had with some leaders in a hotel, five-star hotel. We were sitting there at the table, and I was having some... Uh, some great food from the buffet and cappuccino and all that. And, and the power of God fell. And um, this uh, got turned into a book and it became, it was actually 66 prophecies that I delivered under the anointing in 55 minutes, 5-5. Five, 55-minute five. Five recording, it became 66 prophecies. That means somewhere less than a minute to get one done, which is brilliant. And these have come to pass, and I also see this like a blueprint for our own ministry. I didn't know it plan it was like that. It was for the nation, but when I read through these, I'm like, these are being fulfilled uh, on a wide scale, like nationally, internationally. But a lot of these things I see in here are also very, very directly home with me and with us and with our work. So this is just a, a multifaceted blueprint from heaven. 66 new prophecies, that, and then I, did, I did this some time ago, so by popular demand, it's going to reprint in an expanded edition. Another book I've written called The Focus Factor, uh, sold out. We're also going to be uh, working on this a little bit more, making an expanded edition, 
with some more chapters, and that's going to take a minute, so this won't be available right in the next few days like the others will, but it's going to be coming soon. What a book, what a topic, what an amazing thing. Oh, my God. Uh, success strategies, also same. I've got to add some to this. And um, an expanded edition will be coming out. Not right now. That's going to be next phase, ASAP. But And this one is dear to my heart. Supernatural Operations of Spiritual Conquest Through the Office of the Prophet. That's a long title. I tried to shorten it. I tried to go like marketing, uh, you know, marketing 5.0, whatever, ballistic on that and say, well, make it a short title. Maybe one day God can help me, but I couldn't shorten it because it's exactly what it is. Supernatural operations of spiritual conquest through the office of the prophet, the governmental realm of glory. And this is a great book. This, has, this is loaded. By the way, it's full color on the inside. You see that? Let me show for the camera up here if you can see. Full color, full color, okay. So this uh, will be fairly easy to get redone because I don't think I'm going to change the thing. I think I'm just going to leave it just the way it is. And we're going to go to reprint on this. This will also be available as an ebook. I'm looking at all these color pages. You know, I can't change anything. This is the, the, the guy, my graphics guy that did this some time back, it's, it's a masterpiece. I wanted to increase the font size a little bit, but if I do, I'm going to throw off all the pages, and I just may. Let, let's, see, let's see how it works out, but this will also be coming out. I'm talking too much tech here on the book. Supernatural Operations of Spiritual Conquest of the Office of the Prophet. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, another magazine we did in, a, in an A5 uh, size called the Prophecy Resource Magazine, which has really got some great, great things in here. We'll be doing more of those. I found something that in, in one of my uh, files, uh, the Dominion Attendance Book. Check this out. <laughs> Some of these people that uh, are, are very strange people and they're too weak to handle the power that we carry. That's okay. But I tell you, there are people all over the world waiting for us. You know, when you're on the ground in certain places, you get mistreated a lot. You get... You have a lot of warfare, a lot of foolishness that goes on. And I feel really feel pity for the, those that have missed the glory. Look at this great city here. I don't know if this is Hong Kong. Kind of looks like Hong Kong Harbor. I really like the picture. Look at that. Okay. Okay. I really like that. And uh, we let people fill this in when they come. And look, on the, look at the back cover, how they did it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my Jesus. Look at that. Prophet in action. Okay, so look at that. Okay. This is just an attendance book. So uh, what's coming? We're going to be doing the best, most awesome uh, broadcasting. And Oh, I'm so excited. Now, another announcement. I... I'm in the process of developing an online school, and I have great help with that, and, and I, give, I give tremendous uh, thanks and credit to uh, a creator that's really helping me with that, who's, who's my, uh, one, of my, one of my directors in a certain continent, and another continent than the one I'm on right now, on the other thousands of miles away. But they're helping me with... Uh, doing some layout of teachings on the topic of success. Now, I'll get into other topics, but I want to make this an entrepreneurial school for success. It has a very specific focus. If you don't know the specific focus of something, how on earth are you going to achieve, you know, what it is you, you, want, to, you want to get done? Uh, it's, just not, it's just not possible. Hey, John. Hi, hi, John. Are you still there? This thing I can, Instagram, I can hit wave, 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 wave. And, you know, the numbers on social media have been choked. By the way, I've not used Instagram. So if there's no one, almost no one on there, don't worry. It'll, it'll blow up into thousands uh, when we're on live because I just have not used that platform. 
live. I used to some time back, a long time ago, a few years back, and then I stopped. I don't know why. I used to have like three phones. I do like Facebook, another platform. I think it was Periscope at the time, and then Instagram. And I'd have three phones set up plus the camera, and I'd have it all decked, the whole desk all set up with my library behind me. How have you seen those, those videos from those days? Uh, but, you know, if you're not, and I was having a, a conversation a while ago with a great prophet friend from, uh, from Europe, and uh, he called me on video call, and it just was a spontaneous thing. And we spoke for an hour, and, and, and I prayed for him, and, and, and he, uh, he shared the most awesome things about what we need to do, and we're going to be working together on some, some really, really amazing things, and I'm not going to say all about that, but details, but wow. So... You know the wisdom principle, when you're going to do something, just do it, you know, don't talk. But I, but I want to stir you up, especially my people that are trekking with me a while. And you're, you're, you're waiting to see the glory of what we're going to do next, you know. I want you to, uh, I want you to know a couple of things about, you know, what's, what's coming. So, oh, that's the side of my chair. Okay, I get it. I could back up. Okay, so uh, very excited about that. And I'm calling prophetically all entrepreneurs, all entrepreneurs, all people that want to succeed financially, all people that want to succeed for the glory of God to be a kingdom financier and to be blessed yourself and to just be empowered to do so much. I want to, I want to help you, okay? And, I'm, and when we start doing this next uh, uh, programs that we're going to do, I want to open it up prophetically that I'll prophesy live over the air. Somebody's going, yay, 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 please do it. I'm always teaching. I'm always expounding. I'm always bringing doctrine. I'm always, you know, in a subject. Of, and, the, and it is prophetic, but the realm of prophetic ministry, we're going we're gonna to unleash that. And, and we're going to have a partner, you know, a partnership program where people that are, are, are generous partners can have access to me that you could write to me. I am your success strategist. I'm your coach. I'm your mentor. I'm your prophet. Yes, I am. And when you're with me under this grace and anointing, you will, you will succeed. Your life is going to begin to change. The things you've been desiring to see happen are actually going to happen. The realm of the miraculous and that kind of... Uh, Power and glory is going to begin to happen. You're going to begin to see it. And we're going to open it up prophetically to minister prophetically to people. And those who will become partners will have a way to access me. I'm doing it. I've been doing it already. I mean, for a long time. I have people that are partners and they write me their prayer requests. I don't mind getting the prayer requests. And sometimes, you know, I don't have to write some long story back. I'll just acknowledge their message and they start to get miracles. Some have written to me. Listen, you can write to me right now. Okay, and, and, and God could begin to give you a miracle even before you, uh, you know, have waited for a long time for me to pray something and whatever. It's just like you tap the anointing. It's like the scripture that says, while you're yet speaking, I'm already answering by fire and bringing mir the miraculous to you. So miracles are going to begin to happen for people. This is going to be the day of revival. You know, it's been hard. Like, a lot of people have been complaining. A lot of people have been, you know, talking about how bad things are and all that. And, you know, we see it all. You, you see these things happening uh, that are going on. And, you know, things are different. Things just have become different these days. It's kind of a, become a different world in some ways. You look back, you know, some years back, and you think, you know, those were, the good, those were good days. There wasn't any opposition in certain arenas. There never was this lockdown business and all this pandemic crap and all this whatever that happened and, you know, to change the whole structure of economies as many still haven't recovered from. It's really horrifically and it's really satanic and it's really, really unfortunate. But you know what? These have to be the days when, the, when, the, when sin much more abounds, uh, abounds a lot. Grace will much more abound on the earth. I want to prophesy to everybody this is going to be the day of revival and breakthrough like we have not seen in many years. In fact, it's going to be in dimensions and ways that we've never seen. And you're going to be a part of that as you connect with this grace that's upon my head 
my heart, my body, my, my, my life, you know, my atmosphere, we're carrying this glory. I remember I walked into a big event under a tent in a stadium. They put tents up in the stadium and joined them all together. And I don't know how many people were there. I mean, it was 20. It wasn't a big crowd in that one. Uh, the next one will be bigger. Maybe there was 20,000 people there. Well, it's, that's, a, that's a good crowd, isn't it? 20,000 people. Is that, a, is that a good uh, attendance for a church service? Yeah. But it could have been a lot more. And in the, in the days to come, and this man of God, his apostles, coming back, to the region again and doing another one and uh, of course we'll expect to see a lot more people coming to that one uh, very excited about him coming again what a great man of God but you know when I walked in in the morning I was tired it was not even eight o'clock in the morning I hadn't really slept I was dealing with a lot of things I was busy I walked in I was feeling like I just got there I had just had to get in there to get to the front and sit down for the service to begin I realized I, after I got there, it was the first morning. I realized after I got there, I could have gotten there like an hour later because the, the preacher didn't come in until. But thank God I got there because you know, they had a very nice, those big cushion, you know, those real executive chairs. Round, comfortable, elegant, you know, billionaire style kind of chairs. You know, it was kind of round, very elegant. Imported stuff, but they don't even make them locally. And... Uh, uh, just really nice. So I was sitting there, and anyway, the videos are there. You see me on the video in this event. Now, now one of my one of my uh, staff, one of my uh, young men, he said to me, "When you walked in, the atmosphere changed in the place. All eyes were on you as you walked across." And you could feel like the glory, like a wave coming across the people. And people even wanted, were almost going to start to lift their hands. I said to him, are you serious? You really felt that? I mean, I know he wasn't just saying that. And I was like, really? <laughs> and I mean, in myself, I wasn't feeling it at all. So the point being... When God puts his mantle, <laughs> when God puts his mantle upon somebody, you know what I mean? And they walk, we're walking with him and we're walking according to the dictates of this great, great uh, Holy Bible. You are, you are going to see the miraculous glory. There's something about the anointing that it, you know, things just cannot happen any other way. See my card here, Dominion. See that right there? You see my giraffe bookmark from my Bible. When I want to turn pages, I take the animals. I have a cheetah, lion, uh, giraffes, other animals. and I love it. Here's the cheetah one. Look at that. They call it Chewy in Swahili. This is Twiga, Mr. Giraffe in Swahili. Isn't that brilliant? Great bookmarks. Isn't that a brilliant? Isn't that a brilliant idea? Look at that. Isn't that just brilliant? So, the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. And then, when trouble comes your way, I just happen to have, I just happen to have Mr. Giraffe, Mr. Twiga in uh, Psalm forty-two, and it said, "When, when I remember these things." I went to the house of God, verse, uh, verse 4. And then the fifth verse, he said, Why are you cast down, my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall see. Yeah. I shall yet praise him for his help. Thank you, Lord, for your help. Thank you, Father, that you're working all things out. And I want to get into the message now. Here it comes. It's, perfectly, it's a perfect segue right into what I, the Lord wants me to talk about in this session. Um, I want to talk about your, your financial life. And then I, want to, I want to entitle this, How to Receive More Money and How to Deal with the Money that You Have. Did you get that? I have never done this. 
how to receive more money, how to walk in excellence in finances, increase in success, and how to work with what you have. Now, first off, before the, uh, before the um, tangible manifestation comes, you, 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 you're going to walk with it in the, in, the, in the realm of reality, in the realm of the spirit. And you have to, you have to like, you have to counter it, you have to counterattack. Every oppression. <laughs> David said, David was a rich man, but he had his battles with his emotions. Huh? And I'm sure he had his ups and downs with different things, but he went out and took spoils of war because of his aggressive nature. And he was very wealthy, but he had issues in his mind and his heart too. So you have to work on that. Now I want to say something in an opening statement. Here. I don't just want to make this about like money, physical money, or just economics or business or success or your income level or what you're doing. I want to make it a wide stroke, you know, wide uh, 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 expression upon the canvas of life. The canvas, which is the portrait of the painting of your life and your world, is, um, is very vital that you have victory. Now I want to say this. Listen to me. Listen to God's servant here. And yes, I am God's servant. You need to hear this. People have done wrong things. People have done you dirty. People have attacked you. People have maligned you. People have fought against you. Really demons through them, but people, all kinds of scenarios and situations. And, and injustices have been done. Horrific things have been done to good people. But remember... Proverbs 17, 13 says, those that do evil against one who's good is, uh, is not going to uh, ever be free from evil being in their own house. So people have done evil things, and I thought, am I going to die because of them? Am I going to suffer bitterness and pain and anguish because of them? No, I can't. And, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm thinking about my friend who I just spoke to in Europe a, a, a while ago. And he, he's uh, just had some, something, you know, some medical thing done there. And he looked totally victorious. He looked totally at peace. And a lot of people would be complaining or feeling sad or wanted to moan or cry or complain to people about, you know, what's going on. And he actually video called me from the hospital. Can you believe it? He's in a hospital bed. And he took the phone. We talked for one hour. He's like, he just had a major procedure done. I'm like, yeesh. So I had to pray at the end. I prayed. I shouted. I shouted loud. And I shouted at that thing. I said, now you, God's going to fix your physical body because we need you for a couple of more decades. You know, this is a real rare prophet of God, a real brilliant man, a really gifted and, and man full of good character and, and anointing. Brilliant mind, beautiful spirit. You know, uh, we're not accepting these kind of these these friends of ours to leave because of some physical ailment. Let me do this right now. I curse every sickness and disease that's attacked you. Anything that's attacked me, I curse it in Jesus' name and command it to go out from us right now in Jesus' name. And I command the fire of heaven, the power of the Holy Ghost. To come upon us right now from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. All the way through. Every organ. Every cell. Every fiber of our being to be blessed. And that we're made in every way whole. And healthy. For long life and strength. A great, a great very successful uh, success coach and a businessman. He said something, he said, what he discovered early on, he said, what he needed more than anything was energy. Energy. I thought, yes, Lord, please, energy. You, if you have enough energy emanating from within you, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and all that, in every good way, you, there's nothing you can't achieve. So, and I heard another uh, great teacher saying this earlier today, I, uh, a clip popped up from him. And he's an older man now, but this is like 
30, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, maybe 40. Can you imagine? When he was a young man teaching, probably at least 30 years ago, uh, an old video clip, and this is what he said. He said, you need to be courageous, and then by your courage, you become unstoppable. You need to take that posture in life no matter what. And I'm saying that in the realm of economics, in the realm of success, in business, and whatever else that God has you doing in life. You need to succeed. You need to have the victory. We have this victory through Christ Jesus that everything that is adverse in this world, we, we have victory over it. John 6.33 uh, uh, records the testimony of Jesus and the words written in red itself because of the, they were the words of the Master, Jesus Christ himself, our great mentor, our great king, our great God, our great Lord. Our great boss, our greatest friend, our savior. He said, in this world you'll have trouble, but be of good cheer, for I have already overcome the world. Be of good cheer, because I overcome this world. This world is under my feet, and I have total authority and dominion over it, and so do you. Because of me. John 14, 12. Greater works you do because I go to the Father. I'm preaching good here. This is the Holy Ghost. And, bef and, and I'm going to get to this in a minute because I have a, a, a theme here. Something that the Lord wants me to get into. I want to give you some keys about your financial life. You know, ways to look at things. Ways to operate. Ways to do. And then the ultimate picture that God wants you blessed Financially, in every way. He wants you healed physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically, and financially in every good way. Third John 2, the Apostle John said, Beloved, I wish above all things in, that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. New King James says, I pray that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. New International Version said, I desire above everything else that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Isaiah 48, 17 our great beloved predecessor in the prophetic, the great, the, one of the greatest prophets, the great, the great prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah 48, 17, my God, I feel the anointing flowing right now. I want you to profit in every good way, and I want to lead you in the way you should go. I'm the Lord your God who teaches you to profit. P-R-O-F-I-T. Now, I like the old statement, when you want to profit, P-R-O-F-I-T, you need to profit, P R O. P-H-E-T, like myself, because we're the mouthpiece. We teach, we speak, we declare, we direct, we give you guidance and empowerment creatively to move forward in your blessed life in Jesus' name. And it's just like that. We have to do something about Instagram, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We have to build the audience. How are we going to do it? We'll find a way. Every technological operation, because we have more technology available now than ever, is to be used for the advancement of the kingdom of God, the winning of souls, the preaching of the gospel, and for your business your marketing, your success, your, your progress in every good way, in Jesus' name. Can you say amen to that? And that's the plan of God for you. That we prosper and be in good health. We have the energy, the direction, the passion. Everything that's good is for us. And everything evil in the world and the devil, the stupid, de the stupid, defeated devil himself doesn't want you to, to, to be doing well. In fact, they're laughing and they're happy when you're sad or miserable or bitter or hurt. We got to get rid of all that. Let me say something else along these lines. This is a great success principle, and this deals with our financial life, our, our, our strategies, our ways of carry on the, carrying on in life, the, moving forward in, in great things that are going to help us succeed and prosper. Things that will help us succeed greatly and to prosper greatly. Yes. That we need to let everything go. 
Yeah, they were bad. Yeah, bad things happened. Yeah, they were stupid. Yeah, they were evil. Yeah, they hurt. Yeah, they caused damage. Yeah, they did. But so what? Are you going to die over that? You can't. So rise up and say this prayer with me right now. Father, God, my almighty God, my almighty Lord and boss, my dad, my papa, my father, in Jesus' name, your only begotten Son, who is the King of kings, who is also God incarnate, and the Holy Spirit, who is the third person of the Godhead, the Trinity, three in one, one in three. Distinctive, but together. In all power and glory. You want us to be happy. Yes, you want us, oh God, i got to say it again. You want us to be happy and fulfilled and successful. And it starts from the inside. So we can't hold on to things. So let's pray this prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, I let go of everything that's harmed me and hurt me. I let it go. Every person that's done damage against me, I forgive them again right now. You may have done it before. You said, oh yeah, I already prayed that prayer and I didn't really like it, but you know, just do it anyway. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than repenting later. Just be obedient. Forgive, release, let it go. Don't be bitter, be happy. In Jesus' name, and say, Father, I'm going to be happy from tonight, from this moment right now, because I'm speaking this out of my mouth. I'm letting everything that hurt me go. Out of me it goes. Never to return, and every afflictive situation that caused affliction, every problem that came my way, every evildoer that came to do harm, I forgive and release and just let them go into your hands, Lord. You want to judge them and destroy them? Help yourself, please do. You have our blessing. You have our, 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 our undivided attention that you can do whatever you want with your creation because people that do evil, they're going to suffer the consequences. You know, God, God has been speaking about that. It's a time for the fulfillment of manifestations of promises for the righteous, and it's a time of the cup of wrath being filled against the wicked. And it's not a good time to be wicked, but it's always a great time to be righteous. So, what's the admonition to us? What's the encouraging word to us? What's the empowering word to us? Don't be weary in well-doing, for you're going to reap good things in due season, and that due season is right now. If you don't faint, can you say amen? Good preaching right here. Oh, Lord. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Okay, now, let me, let me, let me get to a few points about financial breakthrough. Psalm 50, verse 10 said, A cattle on a thousand hills, everything in the forest, everything in the earth is mine. So therefore, I also want you to have it. So what did I talk about here? Announcements about what we're about to do, great things. Get ready for those. I'm telling you, it's so exciting. You're going to be so blessed. Stay tuned. Tell your friends. And when, I'm making, when I make announcements of what we're about to do, Share it with everybody. Please do the work of an evangelist and help us get the word out to people that we couldn't reach ourselves. You can reach them and bring them in. Everybody bring someone. Bring five people. Bring one person. Bring two. Bring ten. Bring twenty. Release it to a hundred of your friends and let them all begin to join in online. It's going to be some of the greatest days we've ever seen and some of the most unique broadcasting we're about to do by television all over the world and through the internet. It's just so exciting. Also, some live events coming up. That's a separate uh, department. Come and, if you're in the vicinity of where we are, please come and join us. Amen. But this thing online, wow, I am thrilled about it. Okay, and then I talked about my books that I am uh, going to reprint. And then, oh, About the office of the prophet, <laughs> success again, success strategy is the focus factor. The new prophet, the prophecies book, 66 prophecies, wow, this is exciting. 
The Laws of Success, the expanded edition, is coming out. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, The Benefits of Excellence. Yes. And Prophetic Keys to Successful Living with the Forward, written by the great Archbishop Harrison Nanga. It's here. It's in print. It's ready. We have some copies left. We did a big print run, and many, many hundreds of them are gone. And, but we have uh, some left. We're pushing 1,000, just about at 1,000, and uh, we have some left. You can still get it. And, of course, when they're uh, about to go, we'll reprint them again. Also, these are all available online. You could just text me book to plus 254-706-164-191, and that will be on the heading of the screen. I also want to challenge people to partner financially. You can sow a seed into this grace, and as you do, I'm going to pray for you. As you do, as you sow, I'm going to pray for you to grow in your business life, you preachers in ministry, and people that are, are wanting to do great projects, you want to advance in your career, you just also appreciate what it is God's having me do for the world, and you want to partner with this anointing. God will bless you. When you sow, you're doing something for yourself. It's never just, I'm just going to give to help. No, you're helping yourself as you sow seed. Can you say amen to that? And you'll experience the harvest. And it's coming. Now, I want to talk about this for just a few moments. A few moments here. Uh, how to receive more money and how to deal with the financial issues that you have now and what to do with the money you have now, etc. And then also to adjust your mindset that God wants you to have a bigger experience you know, in life financially, he wants, you, he wants you to really be blessed to overflow. Can you say amen? Now, first comes with giving. Proverbs 19.17 talks about giving. God loves a cheerful giver. So you want to be a support and a helper to advance the kingdom of God. And then you want God to bless the works of your hands. Now, we find this in Psalm 90, verse 17. He said that, Lord, you will bless the works of our hands. In Jesus' name. And every closed door, closed, it like, seems to be shut in the realm of you advancing. I break it open in Jesus' name right now, prophetically. I do that for you in Jesus' name. Get ready to see it. And my, my Father and my God, bless me abundantly because I'm yours and I need resources to do what it is you've ordained. Proverbs 11.25 said, the generous person will become like a well-watered garden themselves. Well-watered, watered, to grow big because you're generous. When you have generosity in your, in your heart to advance good things, the Lord will bless you. Oh, yes, he will. So, um, hmm. God wants to also make you a master of, of receiving and understanding opportunities. Father, I pray that opportunities come. New jobs, new business endeavors, new contracts, new connections, new friends, new sources of brilliance to help your people market their companies, new clientele, new clients, new customers, new people to even to help in the realm of uh, putting things forward in the realm of your business life. Amen. If you're in ministry and you want to connect with me, I mean, I could speak this to the whole world, but I'm, uh, you know, just for free and give it. And I, that's what I do. And I love doing that, okay? To God be the glory, and he blesses me and takes care of me for that. Yet, I want to build a partner base of friends that I'm praying for regularly, for them to have great success. And then I want to hear your testimonies. I'm getting testimonies. Uh, a lot of, a lot, it happens all the time. But uh, I'm getting a new flood of testimonies. People are getting land. People are getting new companies. One, I got a testimony today of a young man that's going to buy a hotel. And he's never done it before. And it just opened up to him. It's crazy. 
people that were out of work or getting properties, you know, blessed with ways of getting properties. I'm getting the testimonies from my partners. Now, these are regular followers of my voice. They follow me online, and some are coming to meetings in person, but there's some that have been following me online. Every time we're doing teaching, they're on, and they're receiving the grace. You see what I'm saying? And uh, the, Lord, the Lord is just blessing them with supernatural, supernatural things, you know, that are just happening for them. It's fabulous. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, I'm the Lord your God who gives you power to get wealth. To do what? To establish the covenant. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 talks about uh, realms of abundance you'll receive. And the Lord went on to say, the Lord went on to say there, he said, I am letting you know that I'm your God who even calls you by your own name. How? By the, by the realms of me giving you treasures even from hidden places. Father, I thank you that money is going to come from everywhere, from hidden places to us. And Father, let us never despair about the situation we're in. And next point I want to make is I want to cancel debt. Debt will be canceled out of your life. You won't owe more than you have. And some people have had these nasty debts, loans and credit cards and situations like that and they have to pay things and they're still paying interest or the or the things that obligations that they were supposed to take care of they weren't able to take care of yet all of that needs to be broken loose in jesus name and we need to get to the level path the scripture says lord lead me on a level path in other words i don't owe anybody you know and the scripture says in another place to owe no man anything but to love him can you say amen i will not be a prisoner to debt and I'm going to be broken free from every yoke of debt in the name of Jesus. There's a principle in Romans 13, 8. You can look at there. Just take time to read that yourself, okay? Romans 13, 8. And I'm not going to stop to, uh, to go through that. Deuteronomy 28, 12 says, The Lord will open to you his good treasure and give them into you and even your land and even to the works of your hands that you will lend to many nations but not borrow. Listen, I've, I've heard that scripture for a long time and I think it's a lofty high thing. Let's do this first. Let it be where you don't have any debt yourself and you don't owe anybody anything, all right? Instead of thinking about how am I going to lend to nations, you know, I'm going to, you speak that but yet you have debt personally yourself. Deal with your own stuff first. Deal with your own house first. Deal with the Jerusalem first, so to speak, before you get to the Judea, Samaria, and the other most parts of the earth. I'm dealing with the Jerusalem right now in a very practical sense. A young man wrote me from Tanzania a while ago, a young preacher, and he said he, he's working, he has a career, but he's considering ministry, and you know, he wants some spiritual guidance. You know, I just... I thought since he wrote and asked me, I didn't know him. You know, he found me online or wherever. Or someone told him about me. I, I don't know where we've ever met. So I just wrote him back two statements. That said, take care of your financial life, son. I want to say that to you. Take care of your financial life. It's important. Okay? And uh, um, then I wrote, I said, Make sure your financial life is good, then go preach all you want. Then you don't have to worry about if anybody gives you anything or not. Because certain parts, culturally speaking, uh, they're not givers. And I want to talk about East Africa for a minute. I've heard it's also a, a disease in Tanzania also, like it is in Kenya. You know, these churches, you know, they take advantage of people. And you preach, you, people go to preach for them. And they don't give you, they don't give nothing. I have a man from Nigeria who was here. He, he called me. He says he wants to tell me about his plan and he wants to get out and speak in some places. And I rolled my eyes and I told him, I said, son, uh, my brother, uh, it's, it's not that easy, you know. I mean, and then when they see you're a foreigner, they think maybe you're going to give something to them. They don't want to give you anything. There's a whole cultural mindset. It's devastating. There's a whole bunch of nonsense. That goes on with all that. And uh, I thought, if anybody comes here, you know, you better, 
you better have a plan and strategy of action, you know. And it's not always the easiest thing to, to get up, up and get it running off the ground. So I'll talk to him again, but, you know, I'm thinking, oh my. It's quite a task you wanted to, uh, to get around to the churches. I thought you might be, you know, you could end up very disappointed because they'll use, abuse you and spit you out and give you nothing in the, in the process. So there has to be another way. So what is it? Anybody in ministry, anybody in business, anybody in, in the realm of marketing, there is a way. I just said all that in the realm of airing out some realities that go on. But there is a way to overcome it all. There's another strategy. There's another plan. I prayed with my prophet friend in Europe tonight. And uh, he called me spontaneously. It was the Holy Ghost. And we got into something. And there's some, there's some strategies. There's some plans of action that you can embark upon. Because guess what? I want to tell you a secret. Money is everywhere. It's in the hands and pockets of everyone in one degree or another. It's not like there's no money and then you have to find the little and take it from somebody that now they won't have because you got it and, then, and all that nonsense. And then there's another principle. You don't ever want to gain money by any dubious or unethical or criminal means. You want to do it in a legitimate, good way. And who wants to bless us more than God? God wants to bless us. Can you say amen? He wants to bless your life. What you need is a strategy. You need energy. You need health. You need strength. You need probably some capital resources to work with too. But God has all that. And then the needs he has for you, uh, the, the needs you have for your life, I mean, he has, he has care for you for that, to see it fulfilled and to see you blessed. He's Jehovah Jireh. Jireh, a Hebrew definition of the word more than English, said he's the father who's our overseer who sees our future and will see to it that it happens. That's one of the definitions from the Hebrew word yire or Jireh. A deep Hebrew, Israeli, Hebrew way of explaining the word Jireh, the denotation of what it really means from the heart. He's our father who sees our future and will see to it that it happens and takes place. So God knows we have need of things. Jesus said what? The Father knows that you have needs, but look at the birds. They don't have jobs. They don't have businesses. They don't spin or toil, as it said in King James. But they, uh, they just carry on. A child in the house, did they ever ask the Father, how are you doing in business, Dad? You got enough money to go... Send mom to the shop to buy all the groceries and all the stuff we need. They never think about it. They're in the house. It's just there. They don't think about how they're going to be provided for. Why? Because they have a father. And then even if a kid broken home in some way doesn't even have a father, they have a mother. And if the mother's crazy and she's out of the loop, the kids will have a father. There's some, or let's say it's really, really bad and the kid ends up living with his grandparents. That does happen too. Their grandparents will take care of the baby. Yes or yes? Oh, I feel this so good. I feel so, it's such a sweet anointing in this right now. That the Father loves us and he cares for us and he's our Jehovah Jireh. Father, we need, we need multiply thousands of dollars and tens of thousands of dollars to live. Your people need money. How are we going to get more? You're going to work it out. You're going to work out the ways. You're going to touch somebody's heart this very moment and hour to be a blessing to your people, to your servant here, to your people there. In every good way, everything is coming to pass. Everything that we need and want is coming to us now in Jesus' name. Wow. 1 Timothy 5.8 talks about having strength to be a blessing. Abraham was given the promise said, to say what? I bless you to make you a blessing. Get up, Genesis 12, 1. Abraham, get out of Terah's house, your father. Go to the land, I'll show you. Get out. You know, the, you know, the history says that he just immediately obeyed God, like the next day or the day after, as quick as he could, got moving away and just started to move, just started to walk. Sojourned to a place, to find a place where God wanted him to be. And then the Bible says that God blessed him and made him very rich in Genesis 13 too. 
and he was blessed to be a blessing. Even that God cut covenant with him because he was God's friend and he was so obedient to be the father of many nations. Sari, I, I, me, mine, e, my, me, I, I, I. Me, I, me, I, me, I. Sari, I. Her name was changed to Sarach, the H of Yahweh. And Jehovah was put at the end of her name. And the H from Yahweh's name was put in the middle of Abraham's name. Abram became Abraham. You say it with a little H. H. That comes from Yahweh, the H in Yahweh, the H in, uh, in uh, Jehovah. Yes. Korabarashaka. The nature of God is for us to be blessed. I mean, the plan of God. The nature of God is to be a blesser and to bless his children and we are to be blessed. There's no other plan that God has. My prophet friend said this, said, the people that have issues in their financial life, they did it to themselves. The devil did it to them. Problems happened. They didn't see a way out. They didn't operate enough in the ways of getting out of the situations that they need to get out of and into the things and situations they need to get into. Thus, lack and loss. But those days are over. I cancel in Jesus' name. Are you getting blessed? I know you are. We can't be financially stranded at any point. There are things that we need and want. We must have them. Can you say a big amen? Resources and wealth, treasures, victory, health, blessings. They're for us. A lack of money will not help you. An abundance of money will help you. The inheritance of God to us that in any way that was interfered with by the devil, I command it to reverse back to us in Jesus' name. Anything that got stolen from bad plans of man, wrong decisions maybe somebody made themselves, warfare situations, I command it all to be turned around and great fortune is coming to us. John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And God wants us to have that abundant life. Can you say a big, mighty amen? Joel 2.25, what was eaten by the insects or whatever, the locusts, all this, all this is coming back around and I will restore and I will repay. And vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. We see that also in Romans, uh, Romans 12. <sighs> Romans 12. The vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Wherever that scripture is. Someone, someone can actually help me find that and put it on the screen. And I want to challenge everybody to get this book. This is available right now in hard print and also in, in soft copy. Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. The other books, the New Prophecy book, uh, The Laws of Success, the expanded edition of that is coming out uh, in the next few days. This will, this will be uh, available in an expanded edition. Okay? But this is ready right now. You can have this today. Just text the book, B-O-O-K, to plus 254-706-164-191. You want to become a partner, use PayPal, my friends around the world. Send the prophet a PayPal, paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. You want to use M-Pesa or SendWave, okay, and those of you that know what those systems are, do it to plus 254-706-164-191. My website is thomasmanton.com, thomasmanton.com. But a very, very brilliant way, internationally, all over the world, people can use the PayPal system. Pay, this is my own page, paypal.me, me, paypal.me forward sign, Thomas Manton. That's all you need, M-A-N-T-O-N. -T Thomas is spelled like Jesus said in John chapter 20, and Jesus saith unto Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S, you know how that is spelled. And Manton, M-A-N-T-O-N. 
T-O-N. Dot com is the website. PayPal is paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. If you're in America and you want to use Cash App, you're welcome to. Uh, however, uh, well, no, it's okay. Cash App is okay. PayPal is great. Cash App the same. I, I guess if you prefer Cash App. Cash, C-A-S-H dot M-E forward sign dollar sign D-R Thomas Manton. It's a little bit longer. Cash dot me forward sign dollar sign D-R Thomas Manton. And those links are in descriptions are in the heading of the title. If you need banking details, you like to do an R, a TT or an R, what do you call it? RT. I can't remember what it's called. You know, the, the wire transfer. You can do it if maybe people have some, a larger amount to sell. You've come into something. You appreciate our ministry. Oh, yes. And God will talk to you and say, a portion of that, you, what you're getting blessed with, goes to my prophet. That's for him. And as you sow, you're going to get blessed. You know, this is not a giveaway plan of action, the biblical economic system. It's not that. When you give, you get blessed. You're investing in your own future. Something comes from your hand, but it gets planted. It gets planted in the soil of, 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 of fruitfulness and fruition and, a bit, you know, the raising up and the building of things. And then you get blessed back with the harvest. So everything you give, you're going to get back multiplied. So basically, it's, it's almost insane. It's crazy. It's foolish not to be a giver. Because a good giver becomes a good liver. You live well by your good giving. You make a good living through your good giving. And that's how it works. I prophesy that the best opportunities will open for you as you sow into this anointing. Take time to sow right now. PayPal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. Cash.me forward sign dollar sign DR Thomas Manton. M-Pesa or send wave to plus 254-706-164191. If you're in Kenya, you don't need the plus 254, just 0706-164-191. 0706-164-191 is the M-Pesa number. Sow a seed now. Do it right now as I'm praying the closing prayer here, and I want to bless you. I, I want to see you blessed. I want to bless your life with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I'm releasing the grace and the fire of God upon you that you will prosper and succeed and see a lot of money coming your way. Now, Father, forgive us where we've, where, wherever we've erred, E-R-R-E-D, in the realm of letting our mind be clouded with the circumstances of adversity, all that's over now. And let everybody know that, that whatever you see as a, uh, an, uh, an adverse circumstance of any kind is very temporary. In fact, it's ending right now as I prophesy over you. In Jesus' name. Somebody's coming into land. Somebody's moving house. Somebody's getting new vehicles. Somebody is getting set up with an entirely new realm of business. Clientele. Things that were stuck in your way are being broken loose right now in the realm of the spirit. I'm declaring it and I'm seeing it prophetically in a vision. You're, you're going to see, I see waves of movement. I see things rolling. That things were stuck. There were things that were at a standstill and just stopped. God is reactivating, reanimating them, reviving, restarting the engines, you know, and just pushing that you're going to begin to move forward and really get blessed in your blessed life right now, from today, in new ways in Jesus' name. Get ready to see it. I declare it so. I'm looking to hear from you. You need to sow. I'm just telling you straight out. It, it's going to help you. I'm helping you. I'm like a coach, a teacher, a father. I'm telling you how it works. As you soap, those of you that need to tithe, T-I-T-H-E, which is a tenth, do that. 
The ways to do it are there. You can communicate by Cash App, PayPal, SendWave, M-Pesa, okay? And, and, and just put those forward in the realm of seed for your harvest. As you give, you're going to be given back. And then you please God. You know, when you're a generous person, you just, the Spirit of the Lord just looks upon you favorably. <laughs> and, and he begins, like I'm laughing right now, you just begin to smile. This is going to be the day of laughter. Someone was prophesying that to me. They were writing to me about that time. Of, I don't always feel that, you know, to be honest. I don't always feel that. Some people know I'm a very serious person. Sometimes I'm moody. You know, maybe it's prophetic mood swings, PMS. I don't know what it is. You know, PMS? PMS, prophetic mood swings. Sometimes you're so intense, intensely caught up in what you're feeling, you don't take time to smell the roses or smell the coffee, so to speak. No, we need to enjoy life. Every day is another day of joy. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. I prophesy over all of us, and myself and you included, Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 2, verse 17 to 20, these devils were against the building of what the, the, the work of God that Nehemiah was doing. But Nehemiah prophesied back against them, and I say it now too. All of you haters and naysayers and people that don't want us to succeed, people that don't understand us, people that misunderstand us, people that just decide not to like us for whatever reason, or they want to compete with us, or they're jealous, or they're haters, or they're fearful, or they're, or they're messed up by watching us succeed. I don't know. All of, the, all of those stupid things and silly things that people get involved in. So what? We're going right past it all. Nehemiah said this, and I declare this too, in our day right now. We are going to arise and build, and you devils will have no monumental memorial or part in this great work but we will arise and build. And the God of heaven, read it, Nehemiah 2, verses 17 to 20. The God of heaven will prosper us himself. <laughs> yes, he is. He's doing it. Even in new ways from this very second that I'm prophesying this right now. In Jesus' name. Get ready for the greatest few days Many hours to come, hours to come, few days to come, quick miracles, sudden suddenlies, supernatural suddenlies, surprising suddenlies are coming to us of blessings and provision in Jesus' name. Let's lift our hands right now. Father, we just lift our hands to you and we receive the blessings of the Lord that make us rich and add no sorrow. Proverbs 10.22 said that. Ecclesiastes 2.26 said that God gives the job of gathering and collecting to those that are wicked to give over to the one who's good before God. And I know that's me, and I hope that's you. The one who's good before God. Last Sunday, the Lord had me teaching a message called The Lord Will Grant Us His Protection. I, I entitled it Successful Spiritual Warfare, and that was volume two. We did the first volume the Sunday before. A lot of fierce scriptures about uh, judgment on the wicked and blessings on the righteous. You can go back and watch that phenomenal message. And the Lord is, um, is, is, is saying that to us, that his closeness to us causes us to be blessed. In, in all you're getting, get understanding. In all you're getting, get wisdom. And with all of it, get understanding. Get knowledge and understanding. The counsel of God, the brilliance of God will cause you to succeed and to, to move ahead. Father, I prophesy as we're just about to jump off here. The Lord himself is granting us his wisdom, his grace, his brilliance, his power, his enlightenment, his knowledge, his understanding, his discretion, his discernment, his empowerment, his enlightenment, his illumination, his revelation, his brilliance. All in and through us. And I feel the presence of God like the aura, like the glory. I feel like the... The grace, the mantle, I just can just feel like I physically feel it and see it. The Lord is here right now and he's going to cause us to be blessed and we're blessed again to be a blessing to the entire globe across the nations of the world. We're going to be seeing the power of God moving and many, many multitudes being blessed, saved, healed, and delivered. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for success. S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S. 
success for me and for my beloved friends and partners of the ministry. It's going to be glorious what's about to happen. New things are invoked from right now. There it is in Jesus' name. It's done. I'm Thomas Matthew IV. Write to me. You could send also your testimonies, your prayer requests, and enclose a seed. Send the seed right now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. I'm waiting to hear from you. 0706-164-191. And of course, the paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton and cash app, uh, cash.me forward sign dollar sign DR Thomas Manton. I don't know why they made that, made me do that one so long. But I'm waiting to hear from you. I'm going to be praying over your seed as you're sowing. And the Lord bless you. Make sure you write me also a note to say uh, with the word B-O-O-K, book. And I'll be glad to tell you how you can get this. And excitedly, we're saying the new release of this and the prophecy book are coming out in the next few days. Praise God. This is amazing. This is available now. It's loaded. I can't tell you the amount of testimonies I'm getting from this book. People are writing saying, this book has changed my life. I, I don't know what I would have done with that. I'm so glad. God used you to write this. It's so detailed. I have one major bishop say, it took you a lot to write this, I can see. It is a loaded resource. I want to recommend it to all of our colleagues. All the other bishops he knows and, you know, people can get it. But this is an A to Z of success in life in 81 different categories of, of life. And I'll also be doing some more teaching online uh, going through the book in the upcoming session also. So get ready for that. I look forward to hearing from you, and I'm going to be praying over your seed as you're sending it, as you're writing to me, as I see your name come before me. I'm going to be praying for you to be blessed in the most extravagant ways now in Jesus' name. You will have more money. You will know what to do with what you have, and you will come out of debt in Jesus' name and be blessed in new ways. And that is the word of the Lord. I'm Thomas Manta IV. I love you. We'll talk to you on the next one. Be blessed. I'm praying for you in Jesus' name. See you on the next broadcast. Love you much. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed. <laughs>